All my photography have got an emotional connection to my mother's death and was a way to work through the pain of that loss. I made three series about my mother's death for in the two years following the event. It was Portrait of My Mother, Written in the Past and Archive. Archive, the last one, I made two years after the event and what happened was that we had packed up boxes of her books which I had photographed previously exactly in her order and those boxes arrived in Australia and I let them sit there for quite a while because I didn't want to open them. I felt uneasy about them. When I opened them, I, first, I had this content of a randomly packed box. So I started to take out the books and photographed each context of one box. And now you see the books in a random order. It's not her order in which I found them initially. It's not my order because they're not in my bookshelf yet. They're in this ambiguous in-between stage. And you hear me talking a lot about ambiguity. And ambiguity is something which really drives me to look again. Both China and books in archive, they look unstable. First image you see, you might believe that's possible, but eventually you come to an image where you clearly see this stack couldn't stand up in reality. And that's exactly what happens to our memory. When you look back and you remember a loved one that has died, your memory immediately creates something which is not congruent with the reality. So these books, and China photographs I've made for archive are actually a metaphor for our memory. Photography and memory have always been directly linked, but they both always have been a construction.